Hello and welcome to a sticky sweet edition of Nine Honey's Everyday Kitchen. I'm Jane DeGraff and today I'm excited because we're going on a nostalgic journey back to my childhood to make classic Mars bar slice. Now what I love about this recipe is it's super easy and it's basically just a handful of ingredients melted together with some Mars bars, chilled down and then covered in more chocolate. Sounds pretty good, right? So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is heat a saucepan and to that I'm going to add a whole lot of chopped up Mars bar. Now what I've got here is the equivalent of four large Mars bars chopped up or 12 mini Mars bars chopped up and trust me chopping it up is fun because you get to eat the little off cuts. Yep, that's what I do anyway. So we'll put those over there. What I'm going to put into the pot with that is 60 grams of butter. So I'll pop that into the pot and get that melting. And while that's melting down, let's pop in some of our Mars bar. Now I'd be lying if I said chopping these babies up wasn't fun. It's a, a great little pastime to either give to the kids or do yourself. But trust me, you'll be licking your fingers and having all the little off cuts. It's delicious fun. If you can manage not to eat some of the mini Mars bars as you go, right? Now, I'm keeping some off to one side because I'm going to mix those in in pieces that aren't melted a little bit later on so that we do get some sticky chunks of Mars bar in there. But we're just going to pop this all together and melt it. Oh, yes. There we go. Melt it all down. <gasps> if you could only smell that caramel and butter. Oh, delicious. All right. You can see that's all melting down beautifully and there's still big chunks of the gorgeous nougat in there. Now I'm going to add a tablespoon of golden syrup to the mix. Golden syrup always makes a bit of a rude sound, doesn't it? <laughs> all right, so we're going to stir that through. There we go. Look at that. All frothing up beautifully. Now we can take that off the heat now because we don't want our chocolate to overheat. Pop that there, keep giving it a stir. Oh yeah. All right, now that that's nicely melted, I'm going to put the last of my Mars bar pieces into a bowl of another childhood favourite, rice bubbles. So we'll pop those in, pop that all in together. And now all we're going to do is mix our melted Mars bar butter and golden syrup into our gorgeous rice bubbles. Here we go. Oh yeah, it smells so good. Nougary, caramelly, sweet, delicious. Someone's gonna be trying to lick the bits out of the bottom of that pot. Now we just have to mix it all together. Now it might not look like there's going to be enough chocolate when you begin, but if you keep working it through, it'll eventually stick all those rice bubbles together. Uh -huh. Alrighty. Now that's looking pretty well mixed to me and it's nice and sticky and gooey and certainly full of fun. And now it's time to put that into our lined slice tray. So all I'm going to do here is scrape the whole lot into my slice tray and then press it down so that it's nice and flat and gets into all the corners. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's get all the bits. Sweet treats, right? All those bits in there. All right. Now we're just gonna press it down and work it into our tray. There we go. You can see we've worked it right into the corners of our tin now and how delicious does that look? You can see all the bits of nougat and the swirls of caramel. Now all we have to do is let that chill and then we're going to come back and cover the top in chocolate, chill it again and it'll be ready to slice up. 
Right, well here we have our chilled base for our Mars bar slice. And you can see it's gone nice and solid, but we're not quite done yet. What I have here is some melted milk chocolate with a little bit of coconut oil added into it. And all I'm going to do now is pour that all over the top of our slice. Look at that. Silky and smooth and gorgeous. Oh, yeah. All right, look at that. Now we're just going to tilt it and get it to cover the entire top of our Mars bar slice. Oh, my goodness. This is torture in itself. How am I possibly going to wait? while this sets. Because the last thing we need to do after this is pop it back in the fridge just until the chocolate topping is set. Oh, torture to wait that long, but once it's ready, then we will slice it up. Okay, well that's been about 20 minutes. I can't wait any longer and I think the chocolate is set enough, so let's give it a go. Mars bar slice time. All right, lift it out of the tin. Oh, look at that. Let me see. Oh, look. Oh, that looks incredible. All right, now the trick is to see if I can slice it. I cannot ever pretend to do this elegantly. I'm not an elegant slicer of slice. So I'll just give it a go and see what we end up with. Here we go. <laughs> so good. Caramelly and I can feel it's nice and sticky. Oh yes, one more of those. That there, these are not even remotely even but I don't care. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Here we go. Fling it around this way and This is my childhood coming, rushing back to me. This was like every party I went to growing up. Had a big tray of Mars bar slice. Look at that, let me get in, get, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sneak into the middle and take out one of the really classic middle pieces. Here we go. Are you ready? That, my friends, oh, is classic. Mars bar slice with all the rice bubbles in there, all the caramel, all the bits of nougat in between. Thank you so much for joining me for Nine Honey's Everyday Kitchen afternoon tea treat or any time treat. I'm just going to enjoy one now. I will see you next time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> mm.